The successful rollout of the vaccine means it's at least plausible that within a few months we'll be able to have meetings in real life instead of on Zoom. However, there could be elements of the online platform which we'll miss. I personally have grown fairly fond of never leaving my room. It's quite nice. I can do these shows on here. It'll be nice to go back to the studio, but at the same time, there are clearly downsides. There are also other benefits of having meetings on Zoom. For example, hosts can eject abusive attendees with relative ease, where once a fight might have broken out, if it were in in real life in a room. Um, on Thursday, a clip of an incident along these lines went viral. This is from a meeting of Handforth Paris Council. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. She's just kicked him out. No, she's kicked him out. Don't, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Uh, Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <gasps> um, Read the standing orders. That's been viewed 4.2 million times the last time I checked, presumably a little bit more than that now. Um, Dahlia, have you ever been in a, a meeting quite that aggressive? If I have been, it's probably been in local government meetings because... I, I thought you were like, going to say, if I have been, it was probably me. <laughs> Just me, like, screaming. Yeah. You know, I think, like, I think there is this, like, tendency to, like, really romanticise, like, local government and stuff, but without realising that oftentimes it can be, like, incredibly charged and, like, difficult and chaotic, like, spaces. But, yeah, I feel like if I have been in one, it's probably been in, like, a local government context like this one. <laughs> so that was that was a 30 second clip which went as i say completely viral it's also been like leading the news today i don't think enough happened today um and but there is also a longer video online so there's an 18 minute highlights video very entertaining i've watched the whole thing we're not going to show you the whole thing we're just going to show you some choice segments so you can get an idea of what that anger was about why was he so annoyed that the well she wasn't the chair we'll we'll, we'll get to that it's actually quite complicated I mean, not the chair she wasn't that Jackie Weaver hadn't read the standing orders. Right. <laughs> this is how the meeting starts. When do we plan to start? Oh, I think we could start any moment, Chairman. Um, I think it's perhaps helpful just to go through the same things as we went through before, which is just to encourage people to switch off their microphones um, because it does reduce the background. Right, um, Bing, which tells us that somebody else wants to come in. So I'll continue to admit people if you'd like to start the meeting, Chairman. So you didn't imagine that. The second sentence said was fuck off. Um, it was it was unclear if who was saying fuck off to who or who thought they were muted, um, but it really did set the scene for what was to come. So in the next clip, you'll start to work out what some of the beef was about. Can we be assured that we won't be thrown out of the meeting like we were last time? Um, I, as long as we have reasonable behaviour from everyone, no one would be excluded from the meeting. I, I was I was thrown out of the meeting. Uh, so was Councillor Burton, so was okay. Councillor Brewerton. As a point of order, Chairman, could we start the meeting? Chair? Okay. I'll be, I'll be out for... okay. Chair? We haven't started the meeting yet, do you want to speak anyway? <laughs> I really love the guy. Quite rightly! And then you get um, Julie's <laughs> iPad come him. up, just sort of really, really remove some of the tension. So the man you saw there whose tag is Handforth PC Clark, and um, we'll come to that later because he wasn't actually the clerk. Again, another source of controversy. He was Brian Tolver, who is chair of Handforth Council. He is furious that Jackie Weaver, she's sort of the main character all of this, really. She's been sent to host the meeting by a Cheshire Association of Local Councils on the request of other councillors who had complained of poor behaviour. The next clip will show you, um, I suppose, suggests why those complaints might have arisen. Are you here as the proper officer? I am here offering support to Hanforth Parish Council in the conduct of this meeting this evening. 
I mean, not the proper officer. But... Is that as clerk or proper officer? There's no difference between clerk and proper officer. Um, of course there is. Yes, there is. You must know the basic law. Are we going I would to have thought. Are we going to start this meeting? It, 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 isn't, it isn't the role of somebody who, however kindly, volunteers to do the clerking for a meeting to act as a proper officer if they haven't so been appointed. That's okay. against the law. It's been called by and, and, and let me also quote to you the yes, standing are. orders of Hanforth. But will you stop talking? Oh my God! You've been in the whole thing, have you, Dalia? Yeah. Oh, if you were shocked by that, you're going to keep you're going to keep getting more and more shocked by I what you see. These other bits, I've only seen this short clip where he yells at her. I don't know why, but this is triggering me really hard. Oh, babe. <laughs> uh, I really like that line. I'm going to use that before. You don't know the basic law. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know the basic law because I don't know what he means by basic law. Because I don't. I don't do, do laws apply to the stand? Like, are there laws about the standing orders of ca parish council meetings? I'm not sure. We'll need a legal expert for that one. Um, let's go to our next clip. I think we have some more poor behaviour here from from the elected chair who has provoked complaints. Points of one. order, according to our standing orders, are determined by the chair. If you want to raise a point of order as a councillor, you ask if you can raise a point of order, you state it, and then the chair decides. It is not for the clerk to raise a point of order. Um, it is not for the clerk to decide a point of order. And you, you, you must be aware of that, or at least God knows what you're doing in your job if you're not aware. Start this meeting, it is. or shall we elect an alternative chairman? Oh, hi, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just in a meeting at the moment. Can I give you a call back when it finishes? The good reason. Okay, all right, bye, bye. Julie's iPad, I think, is, is really the star of the whole show. Because every time you've got like this enormous like tension rising, you just, you know, just like, this, this hey, dis disembodied. Okay, I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's not even Julie, it's Julie's iPad. And then you've got, sorry, I'm in a meeting. Um, <laughs> That's that's one thing I think I will miss from from Zoom meetings. Let's go to where the drama really starts. This bit is a bit a bit longer because it's this is the real action. This is this is the best bit of that 18 minute clip. Let's take a look. We'll start the meeting and I want to repeat what I said at the beginning of the last meeting that this meeting has not been called according to the law. The law has been broken. It has been properly Will called. you please let the chairman this is speak? Please. If you disrupt this meeting, I will have to remove you from it. You can't. Sure. It's only the chairman who can remove people from a meeting. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. She's just kicked him out. No, she's kicked him out. Don't, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Uh, Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, dear me. Appalling behaviour. Um, chairman gone. Copy of, Can I... this, a copy of this will, in fact, be sent to the monitoring officer. Well, well, I hope so. the vice chair. Now, out of those yeah. people, who where said, is the chairman? Read the standing orders. Where is the chairman gone? Read the standing orders. Like to elect a chairman for this meeting. You don't have to elect a chairman. There's a chairman already installed. The chairman of the council. Councillor Burkle, we've been through this. You do What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> The chairman, the chairman of the council, is the is the chairman of the of the uh... council. Yeah, I'm going to subpoena everybody. Uh, <laughs> Berkel, could I ask you to be to be respectful to Jackie Weaver, please? <laughs> Here comes the subpoena. Chairman? I want to leave. Just you go and help them. She's kicked Barry out, so I'm leaving. No, no. Oh, Barry. No, Barry has gone. Oh, Stay. Oh. Did you take the fire? I'm trying to have a team's meeting, you fool. 
We're trying to have a change meeting, you fool. We can't if you've got that. Oh, we just don't work. Jackie Weaver, I find that uh, the person on Alec Brewerton's uh, Zoom is being very disrespectful to everybody. Oh, coming from you from Birkenhead, that sounds good. My, my, my first point is to apologise to Jackie, but welcome to Handforth. <laughs> uh, John Smith is one of my favourite ones, John one of my favourite characters. He's the voice of the audience. Just to be like, what? Because he seems really impartial. Because the guy on Alid's, the guy on Alid's iPad on the couch, he's obviously sort of, you know, laughing in quite a contemptuous way. Whereas yeah. John Smith is is like laughing, but just in a neutral, in a neutral <laughs> way. He's our like he's our voice in the room of just being like, what the fuck? Also, stop doing that. <laughs> I also the think golem, it's like this is the definition of like power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely because <laughs> like clearly being involved with the parish council has sent them absolutely like has completely gone to their head and i'm, I'm like i'm just very very scared right now is this what's going on in our like in our like communities isn't the message more that even a little bit of power can corrupt almost absolutely absolutely exactly you have the almost <laughs> I suppose it must have been Alid, if it was Alid's iPad. Yeah, it was Alid, who saw, he, he moved into this sort of golem what, sort what of style that? of speaking where you couldn't work out what he says. Like, We're using Microsoft <laughs> Teams, you fool! It's fantastic. The whole thing's fabulous. I'm terrified. Anyway, Tolva, so he was the chair. He was the chair who was ejected um, from Zoom, um, even though Jackie Weaver didn't have the authority. Apparently she didn't have the authority because you have to have a vote before you eject someone from the she room. She constitutionally didn't... didn't have the authority, but spiritually she absolutely had the authority. <laughs> well, most people's takes on this actually has been that she had the moral authority. And I have to, I, I do kind of fall down on that side. <laughs> I, I, I think I struggle to have sympathy for, for Alid or the chair who apparently hadn't held a meeting for a few months anyway so i don't know if he'd been doing his, his chairmanship properly but i'd seen some arguments from people on the, the left and nothing else <laughs> well, they were saying why are we on jackie weaver's side she's the bureaucrat she's been imposed from the top down to undermine local democracy and uh the chair is quite right to be a little bit annoyed which is the which is the position he has taken so he spoke to the Associated Press today. Jackie Weaver's been on the airwaves. She's the one getting the platform. She's been on Women's Hour. She's been on <laughs> Times Radio. Um, but the chair who is uh, Brian Tolver, he did get to have his say. He spoke to Associated Press and said, I cannot think of any other council meeting anywhere that was taken over by an unqualified member of the public like this. Removing half the councillors from the meeting denied half of the voters of the village from being represented. It was an appalling attack on our democratic rights. Um, the, the sort of calling her an unqualified um, member of the public, I suppose, was a bit hard because she she was brought in by the local council association of Cheshire. So obviously the, the sort of <laughs> larger body had recognized that there was a bit of a problem in, in one of their, <laughs> in one of the units below them. On the request of some of the councillors, they bring in Jackie Weaver to mediate. She attempts that and then lots of people throw a bit of a hissy fit. Are you, are you sure you're on Jackie Weaver's side, Dahlia, or is there, is there a sort of shadow of doubt in your mind that maybe, maybe um, the chair and Alid um, with his golem voice, with his <laughs> subpoenas, he was sending subpoenas, but do you have a shadow of a doubt as to who's, whose side you're falling on? If I was Jackie Weaver, I would have ejected myself. I would have just been like, you all have issues. It's not my problem. Goodbye. So that was the correct position, I think. To just excuse she was, herself from the whole narrative. She was she was chill. If you watch the whole video, she goes on to say, because someone asked, why had the chair written in his little badge? Which was quite funny because then she was like, Is that a real badge? It was very they were all completely confused about how Zoom works. But she was saying, No, he's just called himself the clerk, which doesn't make him the clerk. You can call me Britney Spears if you like. She was she had some wit about her. I think she yes, enjoyed the whole affair, to be honest.